my name is Bukun Ndike I hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to check out this video titled Christian Missionary Attempt to Explain Christianity to Dr. Zaki. Let's check it out. Can you hear me? I got to know you yesterday and I tried to watch some of your videos on YouTube and I try as much as possible to listen to you today when you speak. So I respect your faith and being a veteran in the faith. So sir, I'm not here to compete with you as a veteran and I'm not here to argue because I know this issue that we are actually talking about has led Yes, sir. I'm not giving this Okay, so the question I want to ask is that would there be a way that there is going to be a generation or this our generation that we are going to come to the position of uniformity of faith? That's all. Thank you. That's a very good question. That is there going to be a time in our generation where there will be uniformity of faith? Yes, there will be. Quran says that. When will we all believe in one faith? Today we know because people are misguiding and there has to be to know what is truth. You have to verify. That's what has come. So we believe as I told you Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim unless he believes in Jesus Christ peace be upon him. Does the church say you have to believe in Prophet Muhammad? No. So, only where uniformity can come, we believe in all the prophets of mentioned in the Bible. We only tell you, take one step forward. Believe in Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad has been prophesied in the Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 12, verse number 29. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. He was also prophesied in the, in the New Testament. He prophesied in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 11. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 11 to 14. I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he shall he speak. So for uniformity, there should be similarities. So only way you can get uniform is by following the true teachings of Jesus Christ, not the teaching of the church. So if you study the Bible analytically and follow the Bible only, not the church, not putting words and trying to say Jesus said he's God, never really said that. Because of this wrong teaching of the church, there can never be uniformity. In Islam, I cannot be a Muslim until I believe Jesus is a messenger. Until Adam is a messenger. Until Moses is a messenger. I have to believe. So uniformity is coming from Islam side, not from the church. And will it happen? Yes, it will happen. I ended my speech by quoting a verse of the Quran, which is mentioned thrice. In Surah Tawbah chapter 9 verse number 33. In Surah Fatah chapter 48 verse 28. And Surah Saf chapter 61 Verse number nine. Who was the Arsal Rasul of Biluda? What did you know? Leave us here. Well, it didn't call it. What are you going That Allah sent his messenger, Prophet Muhammad, with guidance and the inner truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions, all the other isms, whether it be atheism, communism, socialism, Christianism, Buddhism, Hinduism. Islam is this time to supersede all. Kulle. Master them all. How much the idol worshippers don't like it. And enough is Allah's witness. And the hadith says there will be a time before the world ends. For seven years, Islam will rule the world. For seven years. Whether it will happen after five years, after ten years, after fifty years, I don't know. But there will be a time when the world will be very peaceful for seven years. That is the saying of the Prophet. Whether it happen after 5 years, 10 years, 30 years, I don't know. But it's going to happen. Hope that answers the question.
Brother, do you believe that God is one? Do you believe God is one? Do you believe Jesus is God or is the messenger of God? He is no God. But no, that means you didn't listen to my talk. You heard the you heard my question answer with the earlier person. And that's what we did you I heard it. But didn't I tell you no way does Jesus say he's God? No way. Correct. Correct. There are two lords. One can be lord or human being, no problem. But lord as God, no. You know, we call, like how you go in UK. You gave to title, you give lord so and so. So that lord, no problem. You go to the court and you call the judge, me lord. No problem. So there are two types of lord. One is human being lord, one is God lord. You call him human being, you call him God. I'm asking you in English language when you open the dictionary. In English, brother, look at you. English, English language. If you open the dictionary, Lord has two meanings. One is human being, yes, one is like the judge, a respected person, you call him Lord, no problem. The second meaning is God. So are you talking Jesus Christ, the respected human being, or is he God? Yeah, um, if you are talking about exactly what. We can refer to him as Lord, but there is also a divinity dimension of him being Lord. Lord of our I That means you are face. just like the other people. Heard. I gave you so many references. My father is greater than all. My father is greater than I. I can of my own self do nothing. I can of my own self do nothing, Jesus Christ said. I can do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek the will of my father. All these verses clearly show that he was a human being. He was not God. So why do you want to give divinity to him? No problem. Thank Sir, you. I that means you, you don't want the world. You don't want the world to unite. You don't want the world to unite. You are you are disuniting the world. You are disuniting the world. I have come here to unite the world. People like you, they disunite the world. The Bible doesn't say God, yet you want to say God. So you are helping those people who don't want to unite the world. No, I am a Dai. Nowhere did Jesus said he's God. Neither in the Quran, neither in the Bible. Yet, Christians like you, you want to disunite humanity. I'm sorry to say, you may respect me, but I don't respect you. Because you are here to disunite the human being. When Jesus is very clearly saying in the Bible, in the Quran, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, my Lord and your Lord. Yet you say, Jesus is Lord. Thank you, brother. You're most welcome. Next question. Sir. Thank you. I told you I understand. Unless you don't change answer. your statement, you can go, please. Can we have the next question, please? Okay. That was good. Talking about if there will be uniform among the faiths, all religions, would they have one body, one faith? Would there be uniformity among them? That is, they will believe in one thing and they all stick to one thing. The major thing I believe that most religion kind of believe is that they have only one God. Like, I, has, I can't talk about other religion per se. No, 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 no. Let me talk about few religion because I don't know of all this other religion, Judaism. I don't know if, I don't know how, I don't know much about their religion. So, but majority of these religions all believe that we are all serving one god i think that is the uniformity in the faith and zakna was like muslims are the one that are practicing it more than christians they are they are diverse as they are reading their quran they are doing research about bible and trying to understand jesus from the two angles in which christianity hardly do that christianity just focus on the bible so the next question, it was like, ah, is Jesus Lord or is Jesus the Messiah? It's two questions. Yes, Muslims believe that Jesus is the Messiah. But Jesus being God is one thing that they do not accept. When you say Jesus is God, he's just trying to explain that we have two types of Lord. You know, we have the heavenly Lord and we have the 
human lord, like the way judge you say, oh, my lord, in, in a court's room. So if God created himself, yes, he is God. But Jesus never created himself. That's the reason why they keep giving us proof that Jesus is not Lord. And the reason why Christianity sees Jesus as Lord is because he was not given birth in the normal way. I understand Zakinek and the Christian aspect. Everybody, you know, sees each that's why I say religions differs. What how do this religious sees Jesus is different from how this other religion will see Jesus. That is how I will end the whole matter. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.